Okay, so I'm a dog. Not just any dog, mind you. I'm the bulldog in Cassius Marcellus Coolidge's famous dogs playing poker painting of a bold bluff. My rival is sitting across the table from me, Judge St. Bernard. He's had a good game, I'll give you that. But the chips are on the table and I've got a decision to make. Maybe he's bluffing. We'd all like to know. Should I call up the ante or should I fold? I've got a fair hand, but he sure does seem confident in that hand he's been dealt. Well, we'll just have to see what I do on the next scene. Well, would you believe that scoundrel? Yep, I folded. And he only had a pair of deuces. I would have beat him hands down. Well, that's poker sometimes. You win some, you lose some. Let's learn some more about the man who painted these scenes, Cassius Marcellus Coolidge. You may have heard about these paintings, dogs playing poker, and you've probably seen one or more of them for yourself. Dogs playing poker are a series of 18 paintings featuring anthropomorphized dogs. The 11 paintings that show dogs seated around a card table have become well known in the United States as examples of kitsch art in home decoration. Critic Annette Ferrara has described dogs playing poker as indelibly burned into the American collective schlock subconscious through incessant reproduction on all manner of pop ephemera. Okay, so let's learn a little more about this artist and his work. This history is coming from the My Modern Met website. And the article that I'm going to read from is The Story Behind the Iconic Dogs Playing Poker Paintings by Emma Taggart, published on September 28, 2018. So who was Cassius Marcellus Coolidge? Although his paintings are now considered iconic in the world of pop culture, Cassius Marcellus Coolidge is largely unknown and was once dubbed the most famous American artist you've never heard of. The artist was born in 1844 and had no formal art training. Despite this, he had a talent for creating playfully surreal, humorous illustrations and started selling his drawings to various magazines by 1864 when he was just 20 years old. During adulthood, Coolidge tried his hand at many different professions including sign painting, banking, pharmacy, and newspaper publishing. However, his true passion was for art, and he soon developed a career as an in-demand illustrator, especially for children's books featuring funny animals. According to art historians, Coolidge developed what, we, what are now called comic foregrounds, the cartoon murals seen at carnivals that people can stick their heads into for a funny photo opportunity. So the Dogs Playing Poker series, it is unknown where Coolidge got his idea for his first poker dogs painting, Poker Game, in 1894. However, the image's composition is thought to have been inspired by works of Michelangelo, Maurice de Caravaggio, Georges de la Tour, and Paul Cezanne, who all have their own depictions of a card game scene, albeit with humans as the subjects rather than dogs. Some have often compared Coolidge's A Friend in Need with English artist Sir Edwin Landseer's painting Laying Down the Law from 1840. Both feature dogs gathered around pensively acting like people, card players in Coolidge's work, and lawyers in Landseer's. However, Coolidge's paintings portray a much lighter and comical spirit compared to Landseer's more serious, solemn tone. It wasn't until almost a decade after the first poker dog painting that Coolidge was commissioned by Brown and Bigelow. The 16-piece series includes depictions of groups of dogs in all sorts of humanistic scenarios, including a football game, a road trip, and even a jester performing for a royal couple. The artworks were originally used for promotional posters, calendars, and prints to advertise cigars. The calendars in particular proved to be popular nationwide, and Coolidge's art found its way into millions of homes. Mm -hmm.